the Lomond Hills dominate the rich farmland of Strathedon. For many years they were well known as the habitat of smugglers and illegal distillers. On a little tributary of the River Eden, near the small market town of Ochtermachty, is situated the Lover's Pool. The water here is extremely soft, with a distinct earthy and salty edge to it. In 1829, Alexander Bonthron diverted this water from the Lover's Pool by carving a channel through solid rock and leading the water supply to his new distillery in the centre of town. 3,000 cartloads of rock were blasted and hewn out and then used to construct the walls of the lade. Nearly two centuries later, this lade still effectively splits Ochtermachty in two. The Bond Thrones were a remarkable family, a true malting, brewing and distilling dynasty. Ancestors of the family were brewers in nearby Falkland in the 1600s. They also had local interests in baking and milling. Alexander established the distillery in 1829 when he was 31 years old and worked the stills for the next six decades, almost until his death in 1890. He was also a bailey to the borough magistrate, justice of the peace and municipal councillor for Ochtermachty. A committed liberal, Alexander was said to have the ear of the local MP, Herbert Asquith, who later rose to become Prime Minister. His younger brother John was described as a pioneer of the malt trade and was the first commercial maltster in Scotland. He was instrumental in the construction of the Fife and Kinross Railway, with the station opening at Ochtermachty in 1857. Their sons followed in their father's footsteps. Strathedon whisky then was a reflection of both the ingredients to hand and the distilling philosophy of Alexander Bonthron. Old pot stills of small dimension gave a heavier, slightly oily spirit. Beer barley and porter yeast contributed to the full-bodied style of spirit, while soft water with a salty edge added character and depth. Peats were sourced from Orkney. Orkney peats have a pronounced briny note as a consequence of once being part of a beach. This would explain the complex nature of Strathedon whisky and underline the high demand it enjoyed in Edinburgh, Glasgow and London. Sadly, the challenges of the early 20th century proved to be too much for Strathedon. Powered only by three water wheels, with its buildings spread throughout the town, the quaint distillery in Ochtermachty was seen by the industry as an anachronism, too difficult to modernise in an era when the industry was evolving rapidly. The distillery was closed for much of World War I, and the loss of its major market in the USA meant the end for three generations of Bond Throne distilling. The distillery closed for good in 1926, a sad end for these men of pioneering spirit their fine craft skill in the art of distillation and the Strathedon name. Until now. The Lost Distillery Company. Lost Whiskey Brands. Reinterpreted.